Now, this was supposed to be a solo lich hunting video, but I ended up revising the whole guide because of what Digital Extremes announced during their dev stream. Kuva Lich Murmurs and Fixes. What we're doing with Kuva Lich Murmurs for this mainline is we are making it so that the Requiem hints received from a Lich that is stabbed with a Parazon that's a failed result will now again be shared with squad mates. So there was a hotfix that went out that took away the ability for your Lich's Parazon attacks to be shared. That's coming back. So now you'll be able to get Murmur progress faster by engaging with your Liches uh, that will be shared. As a group. Great. Is there game. anything else with mainline with liches? Uh, uh, there's stuff we want to do, but it didn't. Weapon duplicity? Or is, it is, didn't make it for mainline. Yet? We do okay. have more coming. Okay. As well, uh, Megan also was kind enough to add a whole bunch of fixes that are coming. Uh, so there's about a page and half of those mm -hmm. just in terms of fixing, but also the murmur change. So yep. more to come there, just not right now. This only means that farming murmurs are better done with a squad after this upcoming Kuva Lich changes. This is why instead of a solo farming, I decided to make this as an ultimate guide to farming Kuva Leeches. However, don't ever think that I'll just be sharing the basic stuff in this video. What I will be discussing are strategies on how to make the grind super fast. Because honestly, Kuva Lich missions are not that hard. The only thing that's quite demanding about this mission is farming for murmurs to unveil the right requiem mods needed to kill your Lich. In addition, I will be giving you additional tips on farming requiem mods the best frames to use on Kuva mission, and as well as some other stuff that will make the grind bearable. Long story short, this guide is meant to make farming Kuva leeches faster. Okay, now that you are well oriented, let's dive into the details. So what are the basic things you need? First off, your Parazon Blade. This holds the key to killing your Kuva Lich, and what's inside the Parazon Blade are Parazon and Requiem mods. These Parazon mods will take effect when hacking, or during mercy kills on enemies with a red flash on top of their head. While these special subsets of Parazon mods, called Requiem mods, are the ones needed to kill your Kuva Lich. More specifically, you need to have the right combination of Requiem mods to kill a Kuva Lich. In order to do that, you need to farm murmurs in nodes that your Lich have an influence on. Once you fill out this circle, one Requiem mod will be revealed but, in order to kill the Lich, all Requiem mods must be in the right position. So basically, it's a trial and error once you unlock all Requiem mods but, you don't need to wait until all Requiem mods are unveiled. We will discuss this topic on the strategy section but for now, let's discuss these Requiem mods further. Now, these mods does not possess any polarity, drain, or rank. Instead, they possess three charges. Each time a mod is successfully used in a Requiem sequence to kill a Kivalich, the mods will be drained of one of their charges, becoming powerless once all three are used up, making them a unique type of mod in that they need to be restocked like resources. Four Requiem mods can be transmuted into a new, random, fully charged, Requiem mod. When all charges are used, the mod becomes defiled and can be broken down into Indo, sold for credits, or transmuted. So, how do you obtain these Requiem mods? There are two ways of obtaining these new Requiem mods. One is by buying it from other players. This is what I usually do to make the grind bearable. Here's one bonus tip that will surely help you lads. One of the best ways to earn platinum right now is Kuvalich farming. As you all know, we can either kill our Lich and get its weapons and ephemeras or, we can convert them and make them our allies. A converted Lich can help us in Railjack missions in the future and, it can also be traded for a hefty amount of platinum especially if you got something with high element value or, a lich that got an ephemera. Right now, Kuva Brahma is one of the best weapons in the game. If you can create a lich that wields this weapon, which you can by the way, then you can sell it for some platinum. What I usually do right now is, buy some Requiem mods, then hunt a lich which wields Kuva Brahma, sells it to other players, then rinse and repeat. To buy Requiem mods, just go to Warframe.market and to sell Kuva lich, just visit the official Warframe forums. Okay, let's proceed to the second method of acquiring Requiem mods. 
The second method is by farming new Requiem relics, each relic holds two Requiem mods and like any other relics in the game, you need to refine it with void traces so you can get a higher chance of getting these new Requiem mods. Now, where do you farm these new Requiem relics? There are two ways to farm these new relics, one is by doing Kuva Siphtons. Each of these missions will give you Kuva, and a chance to get a Requiem relic. The other way is on missions where your Lich has influence. Usually, Kuva Thralls or those converted Grineer units you kill to gain Murmurs, will drop some Kuva relics, so farming Murmurs are not that bad, since you can also farm Kuva relics at the same time. Sure it takes some time to farm Murmurs, especially if you are unveiling the last Requiem mods, but it sure is worth it, since the result will give you either some nice rewards, or a hefty amount of platinum. Now that we are done with what you need in hunting Kuva leeches, let's proceed on how to create one. Players would usually say that to create a Kuva Lich, you need to do level 20 plus Grineer missions. Skip this advice. Just do this capture mission in Saturn, as this is the best node to create Kuva Lich. Once you are in the mission, go capture the target immediately but don't rush to extraction point. Give it some time, kill some Grineer units until Mr. Fat Kuva Guy appear on your screen, and Red Marker will direct you to the Kuva Larveling. Once you down the Kuva Larveling, don't be reckless and mercy kill it. Check the weapon it's holding first. Here's another bonus tip. Hunting for Kuva Larveling in this node, is one of the quickest way to obtain Kuva right now. The Larveling will reward 100 Kuva once it's downed, and the mission will only take less than 2 minutes to finish. But remember, this method is only available when you have no Kuva Lich yet. Most probably, you can just rinse and repeat this mission, until you got enough Kuva you need or, you have found the Kuva weapon you are looking for. The new feature wherein we can see what weapon the Kuva Larveling is holding was a great change for the Kuva Lich system. It makes the grind a little tedious. Ok, this is not yet proven but, some players say that Kuva Larveling can also indicate when the Lich holds an ephemera. Players are reporting that Kuva Larveling with a distinct glow effect will somehow create a Lich with an ephemera. Take this information with a grain of salt, as it's not yet proven. Well, you can try it for yourself and let us know the results in the comment section below. Another very useful information that you should know is each Warframe holds the key to what element your Kuva weapon would have. This chart taken from Warframe wiki page will help you understand what frame you should take when hunting a Kuva Larveling in Cassini Saturn. So what's the best element for each weapon type squad leader? I honestly think it depends on your personal preference. In my case, I usually go with Toxin on my Kuva weapons since it's the most versatile element, and I can mix it with other elements to form either corrosive, viral or gas elemental damage. But that's not taking to account ephemeras. Kuva leeches are some of the best ephemeras in the game and in the future, I would be hunting one with the charge ephemera. So yes, there's no best element right now for Kuva weapons. Only personal preferences. So how tough are Kuva leeches? At max rank, which is rank 5. Kuva leeches are somehow like sortie bosses. They can be tough but with the right frame, you can farm them easily. Aside from toughness, leeches also feature different types of abilities, which depends on what element they have on their Kuva weapons. Here's a chart again, taken from Warframe wiki page, which shows you the different abilities of a Kuva lich, and as well as their corresponding likeness to Warframe abilities. Now let's check out the Kuva lich menu. In your Kuva Lich menu, you will see the full profile of your Lich. You will see everything you need to know about your Lich in here. The most important information in here are the known Requiems, Rank, and Rage Meter. We are done discussing about Requiem mods so, we will just proceed to Lich levels and the Rage Meter. Your Kuva Lich will level up once you fail to mercy kill it during confrontation. The max level for Lich is Rank 5, and when they level up, they gain additional resistances and immunities. In addition, the enemy level on controlled nodes will also be increased. At max rank, you will be facing level 90 to 110 enemies and more importantly, your Lich will have additional influence on other planets. Moreover, clearing influence from every node on the star chart will cause the Lich to rank up. Influence serves to diminish the player's rewards for completing missions in the affected nodes as a part of the reward will be claimed by the Kuva Lich through a reward tax. Or simply put it this way, you Lich will steal some of the stuff you acquired in that particular mission. Now the Rage Meter is a crucial part in hunting a Kuva Lich. This indicates how angry your Lich is. And when it's very angry, 
it will appear more often in his or her influenced nodes. There are five levels of anger, indifferent, annoyed, fuming, furious, and then enraged. In my experience, Kuvaliches tend to appear more often when they are fuming or furious. My advice is, every time your lich will spawn, try to confront it until it reaches max level. But squad leader, that would be suicide. No lads, that's the perfect strategy. There's no point in holding your Kuvalich to rank 1 because of so many reasons. Rank 1 means there are a few nodes that your Lich controls, which gives you less emission options. In addition, having your Lich at max rank before you have unveiled all Requiems are way better, since there are no guarantees that you will have the right Requiem mod combination at first try. Don't worry about the Lich being at high level, as I got the perfect setup to deplete its health bar with 1 to 2 hits. My advice is, Every time your Kuvalich spawn in a mission, confront it. If your first Requiem mod is at the right place, then good. That means that you will farm Murmurs faster. If you have two of them at the right place, then it would be better, as Murmur farms will be much easier since testing a Requiem mod on a Lich also advances Murmurs progress, roughly 10 times more than a Thrall on average. But remember, each combination can only be tested against a Lich once to be awarded Murmurs, requiring players to change the combination for the next encounter. It will be better when you are with a full squad, and would definitely make the Murmur farm even less of a grind. Another great tip to make the Murmur farming faster is through selecting the right mission. In my case, I usually go with Sabotage, Rescue, Spy and exterminate when my lich's rage meter is below fuming. When it's very angry, I will start to do survival or disruption missions. Why? Because when a lich spawn, they may attempt to convert Grinir units to thralls. Up to a maximum of 10 thralls can spawn in a mission naturally, and a lich is also limited to enthralling 10 enemies, thus up to 20 thralls can be encountered in a given lich controlled node should the lich spawn in the mission. And, we all know that both survival and disruption missions have a constant flow of enemies. This will allow your lich to convert more thralls allowing you to farm murmurs faster. This is the most beneficial advantage of ranking your lich to max level before you even discover all the required mods to kill it. The more influence you lich have, the more mission choices you have. Part of a perfect strategy is using the right frames for the job. Whether I'm going solo or with a team, I always use my umbral mesa to farm murmurs. This frame has it or and can do almost all the missions that I usually do when farming murmurs. What I usually do is, I mod my mesa with lots of efficiency, duration, and these umbral mods. The focus of this build is to do missions like defense, mobile defense, exterminate, survival, disruption, sabotage, and rescue. I usually skip excavation and interception because of just personal preference. I just don't like these types of missions, especially when I'm doing a solar murmur farm. When it comes to her regulator pistols, I mod it with a corrosive build. Most of the enemies you will be facing in your Kuvalich hunt are Grineers, which weakness is the corrosive element. Anyway, if a Lich will spawn while I'm farming murmurs with Mesa, I can still take him or her out with my fourth ability. But when it comes to the best frames that can take down Kuvaliches fast, then look no further and use Revenant. This frame is the ultimate Lich killer in my opinion. He got survivability with his Mesma skin, and he can take down Lich super fast using his Enthrall and Reeve ability. Just cast Enthrall on the Kuvalich, and then run it over with your Reeve a couple of times, and your Lich will be downed within a couple of seconds. Just an additional tip. Always reserve capture missions for the final battle with your Lich. This mission is the easiest to do with Revenant, and you will just be focused on two things. Capturing the target, and confronting your Kuva Lich. The last thing you should know about Kuva Lich is Valence Fusion. Players can upgrade and, or replace a Kiva weapon's innate damage bonus with one from another Kiva weapon. This process destroys the donor weapon and overrides the host Kuva weapon's element while retaining any applied formers. Ogin Catalyst, Focus Lens, Mod Configurations, Appearance Configuration, Lich Name, etc. For example, Kuva Sire, has 25% cold bonus and a catalyst installed, while Kiva CB has 43% heat bonus. Fusing B to A will override the cold from A with the heat buff from B, while A will retain the installed catalyst, and B will be destroyed. The percent bonus will be the highest of the two weapons multiplied by 1.1, and rounded to the nearest whole number, 
which would make the final bonus 47% heat. Using donor weapons with high percentage bonus values tend to have greater yields than fusing with lower percentage bonus values. As such, it is advised to preserve donor weapons and fuse starting with the high percentage bonus values. This feature can be accessed in the action tab at the bottom of the upgrade screen of the desired Kuva weapon. Now there are several things that I haven't mentioned in this Kuvalich guide. Things like quirks but honestly, they don't mean that much. Quirks are just a feature that gives your leeches unique voice lines. It's not that important in the hunting guide. If you want additional information, then you can check out the wiki page about Kuva leeches. But I doubt you would do that since I have provided all the necessary information and strategies you need for hunting your Kuva lich. That's all about it lads. I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Squad leader signing off.